Okay, hello, this is the second video um, of the story of the dual mass flywheel and our Opal Mariva. The work has now been done and I just wanted to show you the difference. Uh, if you've seen the first video, you will, you will know that there was a horrible noise coming from the, from the gearbox area, which was actually there when I bought the car a little bit. Uh, it's very, very mild. I thought it was the teeth chattering in the gearbox, but as I've subsequently found out, it's the, it was the dual mass flywheel, which got progressively worse. And then there was this awful rattling coming from the area of the gearbox. Um, but it was at that point, it was obvious it was the, the clutch. I'm just lifting up the bonnet here. I'm just going to show you. Here the radiator fan kicking in there, but that rattling noise is gone now. You just hear the engine which is running nice and smoothly, and and it's driving perfectly. The the new clutch, the new dual mass clutch, has made a huge difference. And I see you now why car manufacturers are, are reverting to this system of clutch because having had the experience of driving this car now with a brand new replacement. Uh, the quality of the gear change is, is significantly better than a traditional setup with just a single flywheel and pressure plate and friction plate, which is what you'd normally have uh, or what you did have uh, before the invention of these dual mass. Uh, so anyway, I wanted to show you that. Uh, it's, the car's totally sorted now. I mean, the gearbox is, is actually fine. Uh, despite the fact that the car's done 350,000 kilometres, which I think is about 220,000 miles, uh, still running on its original gearbox. And yeah, there's a little bit of play in the linkages, but the gearbox itself is fine, it's quiet. The engine's been replaced actually, so I know the car's running uh, on a new engine. And the engine is very smooth in this car for a diesel. It's nice and quiet. Um, so anyway, it, it was quite an expensive job. The, the flywheel uh, kit, which comes with everything you need, uh, fly, flywheel um, comes with the um, pressure plate and the and new friction lining, is quite expensive. It's about 500 pounds. And then to fit it, you've got to drop the whole subframe down. So you've got to get the car up on a lift and you've got to drop the subframe down, take all the wheels off and drive shafts out, of course. So it's quite a big job. But anyway, the car is now got a clean bill of health and I hope that will be, hope that will be it on the maintenance for a while. Okay, hope you've enjoyed the video. I'm gonna do one more clip, actually. I just want to show people that may be interested uh, what the old, uh, flywheel and clutch assembly looks like that came out of the car so I'm just gonna do that now as a separate video